The LAV-25, an eight-wheeled, light-armored reconnaissance vehicle, has been a reliable asset for armed forces worldwide since its introduction in 1983. Known for its ability to operate both on-road and off-road, as well as its amphibious capabilities, the LAV-25 has proven its worth across multiple military conflicts, including the 1989 invasion of Panama, the 1991 Gulf War, the post-9-11 invasion of Afghanistan, and the 2003 Iraq War. Designed and manufactured in Canada by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada, GDLS Canada, the LAV-25 is based on the Swiss Moag Piranha 8x8 series of armored vehicles, which is also owned by GDLS Canada. One of the key advantages of the LAV-25 over tracked vehicles is its cost-effectiveness and simplicity in the field. While tracked vehicles often come with higher costs and greater complexity, the wheel design of the LAV-25 allows it to operate efficiently in a variety of environments. Its light armor offers adequate protection while prioritizing mobility and speed. The vehicle's armament, which includes a 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun and a 7.62mm machine gun, is effective for combating lightly armored or soft-skinned vehicles, as well as enemy troop positions. Its adaptability and relatively low maintenance costs have made it a popular choice for modern land armies, which are increasingly moving away from expensive, complex tracked vehicles in favor of more versatile wheeled platforms like the LAV-25. The LAV-25 was initially ordered by the United States Marine Corps, USMC, in six different versions, although the U.S. Army eventually dropped out of the program. Between 1983 and 1987, the USMC received its first 758 units, which proved invaluable in combat. In 1996, the Canadian Armed Forces also adopted the LAV-25, redesignating it as the Coyote for use as a battlefield reconnaissance vehicle. The vehicle features a driver seated at the front left of the hull, with the engine mounted to the right, identified by a large cylindrical muffler assembly. A two-man power turret, located at the middle rear of the vehicle, houses the 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun for anti-infantry defense. The LAV-25 can carry six fully equipped infantrymen, with firing ports at their seats to defend the vehicle with their personal weapons. An additional optional 7.62mm machine gun can be mounted on the turret roof for air defense duties. The vehicle is also equipped with electrically launched smoke grenade dischargers and night vision equipment for the driver, gunner, and commander positions. Powering the LAV-25 is a Detroit diesel 6V653 engine, which produces 275 horsepower, giving the vehicle a top road speed of 62 miles per hour and an operational range of 410 miles. This allows the LAV-25 to keep pace with the main armored forces while also offering superior mobility and the ability to cross challenging terrain. The vehicle suspension is configured across all eight wheels, ensuring stability and maneuverability. Additionally, the LAV-25 is fully amphibious, capable of crossing water obstacles with ease. In terms of dimensions, the LAV-25 measures 19 feet in length, 8.2 feet in width, and 8.8 .8 feet in height including the turret. It can be airlifted by transport helicopters or medium to heavy class fixed-wing aircraft. The vehicle's hull features angled surfaces for basic ballistic protection, and each of the eight wheels is equipped with independent suspension for added stability. Over the years, the LAV-25 has seen several upgrades and variants. The LAV-25A1, introduced in the late 1990s, provided modernization with improved armor and systems. The LAV-25A2, a further upgrade, enhanced suspension and armor to meet evolving battlefield needs. Various specialized variants have also been developed including anti-tank, LAV-AT, mortar-carrying, LAVM, air defense, LAVAD, command and control, LAVC2, electronic warfare, LAVMEWSS, armored recovery, LAVR, and logistics, LAV log versions. As of 2014, the LAV-25 remains in active service with the USMC, though efforts to replace the aging fleet with a new Marine Personnel Carrier MPC, are underway. Despite delays, the LAV-25's impressive service history and proven capabilities ensure that it will remain a key component of military operations for years to come. The LAV-25 continues to exemplify the balance between firepower, mobility, and versatility, making it an enduring choice for military forces around the world. Its performance across multiple combat zones, cost-effectiveness, 
and adaptability to a wide range of roles have solidified its place as a cornerstone of modern mechanized infantry. As the LAV-25 looks toward the future, its legacy as a reliable, amphibious, and combat-ready vehicle is firmly cemented. Thank you.